Axolotl breeds and morphs. Wild type axolotl. A wild type axolotl is a combination of greens, browns, blacks, and just about any other color with speckles of shiny gold ear Dofford pigments. This axolotl usually has dark eyes with a shiny gold ring around the pupil and purple slash gray gills. Leucistic axolotl. This axolotl has a white or pink body color, dark navy or black eyes, bright red gills, may or may not develop freckles depending on the environment and genetics. White albino axolotl. The albino axolotl has a white or pink body, has clear or red eyes, and bright red gills. This axolotl will not develop any type of freckles or other pigmentation on the body. The white albino comes in two forms, known only as white and xanthic. For simplicity, we will just call them white albinos. Golden albino axolotl. This axolotl has a golden yellow body with shiny patches, clear eyes, with peachy colored gills. The golden albino lacks melanophores which is what gives it the gold appearance. Like albinos, golden albinos cannot have black eyes, as they are a form of albinism. Melanoid axolotl. Melanoid looks very similar to dark wild types. However, this axolotl has an increased amount of melanophores, or dark pigment, and lacks shiny pigments. This lack of shine means they don't have golden flecks or other colors throughout their bodies like a wild type. They are one solid black color. GFP axolotl. These axolotls are any axolotl that has a gene known as the GFP gene. This is a genetically modified protein in their DNA that was originally introduced in a lab setting. The protein allows the axolotl to glow vibrant green under UV or blue lighting. Any axolotl morph can be a GFP. Copper axolotl. Copper is a variety of albino, as they have red tinted eyes and lay white eggs. They are often a light brownie, pinky color with darker brown spots. Coppers don't have any black pigments, melanophores. Chimera axolotl, chimerism in axolotls is said to be when two eggs fuse together in development, and each side grows according to the egg it came from, often resulting in a split down the middle appearance. One side can often grow at a slightly slower rate than the other. Chimera cannot be duplicated in breeding, it is caused by an accident during development. Mosaic axolotl, mosaicism is the result of two cells forming in development and the axolotl comes out showing the phenotype of both cells. Like a chimera, but not an even split down the middle, the color variation is more mixed. Mosaic axolotls cannot be reproduced through breeding, as it is an accident that occurs during development. Many mosaics are infertile, as they are the joining of two cells. Piebald axolotl. Piebald is when an axolotl pigmentation goes all down the body and sides, not just along with the head and top, like a leucistic. Many heavily spotted leucistic is mistaken for piebald. A piebald is normally significantly darker, and thicker in black spots than a spotty leucistic. Silver Dalmatian axolotls, this axolotl has more of a purple hue to them. With darker spots along the body like a Dalmatian dog. I believe this axolotl is only available within the United States. Enigma axolotl, this axolotl is bred by an American hobbyist, only available within the United States. There is not much known about this axolotl. Firefly axolotl, these axolotls are not genetically modified. They are produced by embryonic graphing. Darker axolotls are given a lighter tail and lighter axolotls are given a darker tail. Thanks for watching, you will find more on my blog familypit.com and my Pinterest.